Hey, what's going on, YouTube family? It's your boy Ray J coming at you with another Basement Boy Productions from the Fifth Flow. Haven't did a video in like in two weeks. Been kind of busy or, you know, just enjoying not being in school. So, I guess I was like staying up late, hopping on a game and everything. But, you know, forgive me, I wanted to get to the point where I'm doing at least a lesson every day to keep y'all, you know, hungry for the lessons and everything so I've been checking y'all comments I want to thank you thank everybody for commenting and subscribing and liking the videos thanks for the love I really appreciate it and that propels me to do more lessons and everything because I'm getting good feedback so <clears throat> the lesson I'm gonna do tonight was a request by uh, Donnie Ragsdale there's your shout out man so I'm gonna do a lesson on um, quick lesson just showing you what the circle of fifths and the circle of fourths are and everything it's common in well it is music like ever all music features some version or some pattern of the circle of fourths or the circle of fifths whether if it's all the way through most likely not or most of the times it's broken up so I just go through that so that y'all can know what y'all doing and everything so that you can have an idea of, you know okay what the next note might be because what I've learned or just by knowing like progressions or turnarounds or the circle of force I can anticipate what the next note is without you know the bass I mean the keyboard is telling me or really knowing the song I could just guess because I understand the progressions and everything and once you understand it like fully what well, I don't even, you don't even gotta say fully once you understand it to a point as uh, it pertains to like a turnaround you be flying with that bass and everything so before we get started let's do a word of prayer always kinda of woofing bad I need a cut man Father God in the name of Jesus we just wanna thank you for another day in the land of living thank you for life health and strength Heavenly Father we ask you to forgive us for all our sins continue to cleanse us from all our wickedness Father Heavenly Father, we appreciate your grace and we appreciate your mercy. And as we go in this lesson, increase the knowledge of our hearts, Father. Increase our knowledge, wisdom, understanding for the base, Father. Help me to speak what I have to say clearly so where the body can understand, Father. And all the viewers, help them to understand, Father, so that they can grow in their musicianship, Father. For all good and perfect gifts comes from you. So continue to perfect our good gift, and we will always be swift to give your name all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let's get this meat. So, I start off with the, the circle of fifths or whatnot, and I wrote a diagram, and it's real simple, and I want to make this as simple as I can. So, if you can see, it's the, I said it's the circle of fifths major scale and all that means is we as you're looking at the numbers those are the numbers that corresponds to the notes in the major scale so no matter what scale you're in if these are the numbers of that completes the cycle for the major scale circle of fifths okay so the first one that you would hit would be a four one five two six three seven and those are the circle of fifth notes that is in every major scale now of course the the circle continues to go until it gets all the way back to the one but after you hit the seven you be getting into the flat notes and then after you hit the seven which in any key let's say for e flat the uh, seven of E flat is D. If you go hit another fifth, it would be, uh, it would be D. It would be A, and A is E flat flat fifth. So, and you would still follow the same thing. So after the seven, it would just be flat five, flat two, flat six, flat three, flat seven, and then when you hit the flat seven, you hit the four because E's flat. E flat flat seven or minor seven E flat minor seven is C sharp then C sharp fifth is A flat and A flat is E flats four and then you end up at the one so I know I just said a lot 
I don't want to confuse you. Matter of fact, why am I? Yeah. So, let you look at it again. And the way I did it was I just want I wanted to write it so that you can see the pattern that it is. If we start at the four, it goes to the one. All right, and this is the circle of fifths. If it starts at the four, it goes to the one. And then you see how I have four, five in a line, four, five, six, and seven on top. That's because if you see, if you notice that every other note, you just increase from uh, two notes before. You just go up a number from two notes before. So four, one, you go up from four to five, then from one to two, then five to six, then two to three, then six to seven. So you will write it down and it's real simple and I don't want to make it you know harder than what it really is because it's not and so all that is let's say let's say we're in I know we said E flat well we're in E flat alright so the 5 of E flat is B flat alright and that is the 5 now the 5 of B flat or the fifth note in the B flat major scale is F. All right, so we had E flat, B flat, F, and then the fifth note in the major scale F is C. So you saw all we just did was this, and actually you continue just to go down in that same pattern, and you be hitting all the fifths all the way until you get all the way up until this E flat. So when you hear fifths, it's just the fifth note of whatever key you're in. Like if I say, if they say hit the four, it's just the fourth note of the, that major scale. So I didn't want to do all the flats because, you know, that will come with training. And if you want, you could just um, Google circle of fifth major scale or just circle of fifth notes. And you would get the whole circle and everything. But I just wanted to keep it as it pertains or as it focuses on the major scale because that's what mostly you be working on and see the, the circle of fifths is kind of hard well it's not hard just to, to think about what kind of songs do you hear the circle of fifths in and you really don't because you don't really go like E flat 2 I guess that's a made up song, but most of the gospel songs or R&B songs, they all have to do with the circle of fourths. So, again, I'll show you the diagram again. You have the circle of fifths, and all that means is it's just the fifth note of the note that you're on. And that's it. The fifth note that you're on. You just think of every note you hit as that's the key you're in, and you just hit that fifth note. Okay, so even if you was in C, so if we were in C, the fifth note in the C major scale is G. So you just change keys. What is the fifth note in G? D. What's the fifth note in D? A. What's the fifth note in A? Somebody tell me E. E, B, F sharp, C sharp, and, and that's it. So you want to start learning as you progress. Well, that's like the first thing I, I highly recommend. Make sure you know the major scale and just the pattern of where the one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven is. You don't have to know all the notes immediately, but if you know the pattern, you'll be fine. And the pattern that I, like I said, I develop in runs or bass lessons before is I always start my the root note with my middle finger because I have my seven right here so it'd be one I'm in C one two which is D then my uh, first finger my index finger is on the three which is E four which is F five which is G six which is A seven is B octave is the octave C so my mine is so 
So go to the five. All right, so that is the circle of fifths. Hopefully that was clear. If not, you would just, again, you know, leave a comment and say, Ray, that wasn't clear. Explain it some more. But it's real simple. All it is is just every note you treat as the root key. And you just go to that note, that root fifth note that's in the major scale. And when it's on the bass, if you're right here, it's always, if you're going down, it's always going to be right here. It's always going to be the string down. A whole step and the string down. So a whole step is two notes. So you go two notes and down. All right, or you just just right on top of it. So all these are fifths right here. Then you just get to go down like that. All right. So and that those are all fifth notes. It either be on top of it. It could be on top of it. Just like F is on top of C, that's a fifth. F to C is a fifth. And from C to G is a fifth. And from C to G. So it's like either like this, it's like this, or like this. It's still the same exact note. So if this was helpful, leave me a comment, subscribe, like. If you didn't, if it was unclear, just let me know and I'll try to make it as simple as I can. Or you could just, just Google, you know, circle of fifths and they probably give you like the, the true theory behind of it, behind it. But if you want to know, just look at the pattern and you see how it's four, five, six, seven on top, which represents every other note of the major scale and one, two, and three, which represents every note of the major scale. And this is just the full pattern in the major scale. It doesn't start at one because one will leave you with flat notes. So if you start at four, yeah, if you start at four, you get the major. Because if you start at one, you will end up with the flats real soon. Okay? So that is it. I'm going to do the circle force right now coming at you. It's your boy Ray. I'm eight.